today we're looking at the StarTech hard drive eraser dock. Um, I've used this thing so many times and I thought I'd do a review on it. I love this dock because you can wipe anything from a SATA 3.5 inch to a 2.5 inch to an SSD and then we have a M.2 uh, SATA drive that converts to a regular SATA uh, port and then we can plug that in here and wipe that little thing as well. And then you also can see we have the conversion to do older drives that have IDE still. So this is the regular IDE uh, 3.5 inch connector and power. And then you have the IDE 3.0 inch to 2.5 inch converter with the additional power that those drives need. You don't really see those drives that often, but with me being in tech, I come across them every once in a while and sometimes they need to be wiped. So I can just connect them to this nice little um, adapter kit that they you can purchase to addition uh, to the StarTech device here and then you can wipe that drive securely. So that's what I'm going to show you today is how you can use the StarTech uh, hard drive eraser dock to do that. And this particular model is the s Dock one EU3P. Uh, weird model number but just look it up and that's what you're looking for. Um, what's really nice about this dock is it's not just a hard drive eraser. If you look here on the back, we also have additional ports. You have your power, your power switch, and then your USB 3.0, which is nice. So you get that fast throughput. And I'm going to show you what that is in just a moment. And then you, you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is a serial port doing on the back of this thing? Well, in, being in forensics, um, sometimes you need a proof of wiping a hard drive. So what you can do is hook up a serial printer to this device. It looks like a receipt printer, but you can attach that to this. And then once you're done wiping a drive, it'll actually print out a receipt of the hard drive model, serial number, and the date and time it was wiped, <clears throat> the wipe methods of that drive. Um, it'll give you all those details. So that's a nice feature, especially if you're in computer forensics and you need that uh, on the job. So what I'm going to show you first is what this thing all can do. So if we go through our features here, you can see we have quick erase, which will just format the drive. It won't wipe anything. The data is still going to be recoverable. So quick erase is if you just want to quickly format a drive without having to plug it into a computer. Um, and you can just quickly format it, basically. Um, so the next thing is one pass erase. So one pass is good, um, but you definitely want to do a DOD or at least uh, three pass, which is what it's called here, uh, three pass DOD wipe, which is like a government standard for wiping drives. Once you do this to the drive, that data is going to be unrecoverable for sure. So that would be your, your best option for wiping drives securely. Um, then these are just, like I said, these I'm not going to go over all of them, but these are just different uh, passes you can do, but the DOD is going to be your best. Um, secure erase, I think, is just for SSDs, I believe, because it does a different way of writing it. Um, enhanced secure, like I said, there's so many different ones, but let's go ahead and plug in a drive here. So I'm going to take this Samsung SSD, we're going to pop it in here, and then we can go into, I believe, utilities, and then you can do show disk information. So let's go ahead and click on that, and it's going to read the drive right there, and it's going to show us the, the model number, the hard drive size, and you can see it already popped up, model, Samsung SD, SSD there, 860, e Evo, 500 gigs. So that's just nice information. If you scroll down, you can see the version number, the serial number of the drive, which is nice to do. Especially in your, this device is awesome for doing computer forensics. Because sometimes you need to get the serial number really quick. And you just pop in the drive, get the serial number, the capacity of the drive. You can wipe it. Um, so it's just nice things. And I'll actually tell you how long it would take to do the uh, erase methods you see there which is secure erase, enhance erase, um, and there's that information again. So that's nice there. So I'm going to go ahead and let's do hard drive linked to PC. So when I saw that feature, I thought that was really cool. So like I said, I'm going back to the back here, and you can see that USB port, that's what that's for. So now we can plug in our uh, cable here, and we're going to plug that in the back. All right, we have that plug in the back now. We're going to do hard drive link to PC. So hit OK. 
it's going to say PC link. Once you see that and the yellow light come on, you're usually pretty good. Now I'm going to come over to our Windows computer here. And you can see that 500 gig came up. So now from here, we can quickly do a new simple volume. So you, I guess this is a brand new SSD. Um, I was hoping to have something with data on it. But you get the point. So you can basically put the drive in here, do PC uh, link. And then it's acting like a docking station for a hard drive. So it's not just a standalone thing that can just wipe drives. Like you can also link the drive to the computer. And now you can see I'm in that drive. So I just did a fresh format on it. And now I can pop some files in there, do some data recovery. If I wanted to put the drive in there and link it to the computer and pull a data off it, you know, whatever your use case might be. So that's a really cool option. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of this hit OK and now let's go ahead and take that drive out so the next thing I'm going to show you is we're going to take this M.2 uh, SATA drive here and we're going to put it in our conversion kit now you can pick this um, thing up so cheap I think it was like $9.99 off Amazon I mean it's stupid cheap and you can basically take a M.2 drive now this is only for SATA if you need this for an NVMe, which if you don't know the difference, the SATA is basically like a SSD drive with as far as the same performance wise, it's just a lot smaller package. Um, it's a little bit faster, but the NVMe is like four times the speed of this. So if you want really good performance, you definitely want NVMe drive. Um, unfortunately, this converter can only do uh, M.2 SATA drives. So this cannot do an NVMe. You need another converter for that. I'm just letting you know in case you pick this up and you're like, oh, I can just convert my drive. You need to make sure if you're converting a SATA or an NVMe. So that's just something you need to think about before you buy that. So we're going to um, we're gonna go ahead and just do utility. And we're going to go show disinformation so you can see that this thing actually does work. And it, you can see it's pulling up a Samsung. Um, SSD 850 EVO M.2 drive. So we can go ahead and close out of here. And then we can do, just so you can see it work, um, do a quick erase on this. You can see it's searching for target. Now this should be pretty damn quick because like I said, it's just formatting the drive. So it's going to take four seconds. <laughs> so that's pretty quick. So let's go ahead and close out of here. And we're going to go ahead and take this out just so you can see that working. And I'm going to take a regular spinning drive here, that's SATA, this is a one terabyte, and we'll pop that in here. And just so you can see it working, we're going to go to utility, show disinformation, and this will take a little bit longer because it's got to spin up the drive, pull that information, but as you can see, it's still pretty damn quick. There's the modern number, you can tell the 1000 is uh, basically 100,000 uh, uh, gigs, so you got a terabyte drive there. So we can close out of here. And we can also do a, a secure, or no, I'm sorry, do a quick erase because if I do a secure erase or a DOD wipe, we're going to be here for like four hours. And I don't want to do that to you guys. So you can see it's doing a quick erase and it's already formatted and that took six seconds. So that's still pretty quick. But like I said, it's just formatting the drive. It's not wiping the data or, I mean, it's wiping the data, but you can easily pull that data back. Um, no problem. But if I do a DOD wipe, yeah, that's not going to be the case. So like I said, I love this thing because it's so versatile. You, I mean, I have four different drives here. I have an SSD, M.2 drive, um, just a regular 2.5-inch SATA drive, and a 3.5-inch uh, SATA drive now. And it's just so nice to have this do so many different things. I know it's costly. I purchased this on sale, and it was around uh, 160 um, I know that seems a lot, but for something that you don't need a computer hooked up to it all the time it's awesome because i can just get four of these and if i'm if my business is doing drive wiping it's so easy just to pop the drives in boom 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 wipe and done and it's a lot cheaper than a let's say a tableau or you know another piece of forensic you know expensive piece of hardware uh startex make great devices and like i said this is 160 and now it's actually almost 200 because I think it's getting a lot popular now. Uh, but like I said, this is a great tool. I definitely recommend this for any IT guy or just someone that just wants to wipe their all their hard drives at home. I mean, for 160, you have this thing for life and you can just wipe your drives and just get little converter things if you don't have 
um, a regular SATA drive. You can just get these little converter kits. And then I got the IDE one because I do deal with these every once in a while. You might not need this, but this is about $25, so it's not that expensive. And this thing was only $10, so like I said, the things to do different drives is not expensive at all. I um, hope you guys enjoy this video. But before I let you guys go, I'll go ahead and start a full DOD wipe on this M.2 drive because i got to do that for a client. So you just pop that sucker in there. We'll go to um, DOD wipe. So there's our DOD wipe. Hit OK. Searching for target. And you're going to see it's going to start wiping. And it actually tells you the speed as it's going, which is nice, and the percent. So you know, hey, it's going to be a while, and this will take a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Please let me know in the comments if you want to see anything else. Be happy to make any other videos. Thanks, you guys. See you in the next video.